HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. And by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. Hello and welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. And today, I am proud to say I am celebrating my 100th episode. Cheers to 100 more. On this edition of HCAM News, we'll take you to the 13th annual Hopkinton Wellness Fair that took place at the high school. We have Hiller's basketball and hockey playoff highlights. And Courtney will get you up to date with the many programs coming up on the HCAM channels with our HCAM Insider. But first, after 32 years of service to the Hopkinton Fire Department, Bill Lukey is retiring. He was recently honored for his service at the Board of Selectmen meeting. Um, I think Maria is going to do a little teamwork with me on the introduction, right? You want to do a little? Or? Okay. So, um, <coughs> our team plan. So, I think the big thing I want to start off with is uh, Bill has given a lot of dedication and time to this community, to the department. He started as a... Uh, uh, from Woodville, I like to say, is his uh, hometown area, and uh, spent a lot of time building fire trucks. He was recognized as a talented mechanical guy, uh, picked up by our community, and uh, I want to welcome him in and uh, give thanks to him for the third time in a few <laughs> weeks here as we've been trying to celebrate his, uh, have his departure. Celebration class, fatigue. Thank you very much. Uh, Maria has a few words I think she wants to pass along or no? You want me to do it? Um, yeah, so I mean, I'll, I, I guess I should okay. give me, Maria was kind enough to that. give me some things to say. So, uh, so Bill, let's see. So his history, 33 years on the, on the, uh, on the fire department in total. Yes. Yep. Began uh, working on fire trucks, actually. Became a call firefighter in 1983. Transitioned to a career firefighter in 1989. Correct. And... Uh, and uh, apparently it's in the, uh, in the family blood, right? Your yes, grandfather. well, it, it all started back when my grandfather had the business in town here. Okay. At one time there was three, actual, three manufacturers of fire apparatus, um, and he, his was one of them. Uh, and, um, so in I Woodville? Got, what's that? In Woodville? In Woodville. I went to Street, right where uh, Eddie Murphy okay. has a place now. Of course, now it's Bulldog Fire uh, Apparatus. But, okay. yeah, we, um, I started as a, as a youngster. And going to my grandfather's shop and saying, oh, boy, this is going to be great. And I thought it was going to be my life, but it didn't turn out that way because, but I did get to meet some interesting people, some fire chiefs, some, which kind of, you know, I saw how they did things and what they did. And I'm like, wow, this is interesting. So Arthur Stewart, when he was chief in town, he uh, came to the shop one day and said, oh, he says, um, my spies tell me that you want to get on the fire department. I said, yeah. And then I didn't hear nothing. I'm like, all right, well, wait a minute. So it took a little bit, and then um, one day he says, hey, he says, come on up to the drill tonight. We're going to have a drill. So I'm like, all right, I'm a, here I am. I don't, know what, I don't know what's going on, you know. So I went up there with the Engine 2 crew, and we, uh, we practiced and did some stuff. And uh, then he says, yeah, you're, you're officially on the fire department. Oh, okay. So that's, that's my beginnings. And then I enjoyed helping people and... Uh, my, my two brothers were on the department as well, um, and it, it was, it was, it's a great career. It certainly is, um, knowing that you can go out and help somebody, um, even if it's just to say hi. I mean, in the last few years, we've been able to get out in the community. Um, people have come up and said hi, and, this, and it's, it's really cool. So it's, it's an interesting career. Um, I, I, I just hope that the, my colleagues stay safe for their entire careers. Um, I was, you know, I, I could consider myself lucky to, not that we had any big fires, but whether it's a fire in Boston, Woodville, or Hopkinton, it's all the same. It doesn't matter. I mean, they just have more guys that they can throw at it at the same time. Um, but that, that's it. That's all in a nutshell. And I, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate working for the town. 
Um, I, to the citizens, thank you very much for a lifetime career. Thank you. That's wonderful. And I think we have a little on behalf of a grateful town. You can, oh, yes. we have. Go ahead, Norman. Yes, on, on behalf of town and our staff, we want to thank you for 33 years of service. Uh, and we have a wonderful gift card at the Blissful Meadows God for Life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enjoy it. The 13th annual Hopkinton Wellness Fair occurred at the high school. One of the goals of the fair is to pull kids away from the cell phones and video games and promote athletics and activities available for some summer fun. Many vendors were in attendance, including numerous summer camps and local organizations. HCAM News was on the scene to talk to some of the vendors. The Hopkinton Wellness Fair and the High School Athletic Center featured numerous summer camps, organizations, and activities for the kids. The goal of the fair is to keep kids active and show what kind of activities are available in the area. Hi, my name is Bob Clark. I'm from Southwick Zoo in Menden, Mass. Here with some of my friends like Samson the Ball Python. We're here we have our spring and summer programs at Southwick Zoo, our spring vacation programs running April vacation, grades two to, two to five. Kids can choose or parents can choose just one day or all three days. Our summer programs are grades kindergarten through ninth grade, different programs for different age groups and different topics depending on their age level. Um, summer programs are a week long and you can find all that information on our website, Earth Limited, EarthLTD.org, and register on It's great to be here in Hopkinton. Our friends, our ball python, our chinchilla, and our ferret have enjoyed our time. Thanks. Excellent. So is that snake like trained or something? Or? Not at all. You can't really train a snake. Okay. You can't really train a snake. Um, you can handle them, which these snakes have been handled every day, basically. And because of that, they get used to being handled and used to being around people. So, um, you know, they're used in educational programs at schools and at the zoo uh, all the time. Now, the bite, he's used to being handled. He's used to being handled, used to being around people, and he's been fed, which is really important as well. So, what's that? Those look like tank treads, right? That's how he grabs on, absolutely. That's how he grabs on and pulls himself forward using his strong, strong muscles. So my name is Paul Capadona. I'm the weekend program director at Camp Jewel YMCA. And I'm here today uh, to promote camps. Um, we are, there's a lot of different booths here today. And um, basically what we're trying to do is make sure that kids have um, safe, healthy choices for their summer. And um, Camp Jewel YMCA is a summer resident program in Colbrook, Connecticut and we offer choices for healthy living and it's really an experience the whole family can enjoy but for the summer it's all about the kids and today not just Camp Jewel but everyone here is uh, focused on the youth and the kids having amazing choices for their summers and uh, that's really the heart of why we're here today. Yeah so Camp Jewel um, has a lot of different activities ranging from archery, sailing, horseback riding and uh, every day you get to experience something different. It's something that um, you know, you can do it at your house, you can do a lot of other stuff, but when you're at Camp Jewel, we encourage people to make choices that are outside their comfort zone so they can learn and grow and make choices that are going to help them later in life. Things that school can't really offer and camps can really step in and be that divide that um, kids don't get anymore. And something that we really enjoy is that um, our slogan this year is unplug and connect because today there's so many devices that um, kind of tangle everybody and we want to make sure that kids have the opportunity to get away from that disconnect and by disconnecting connect with each other in the environment. I'm Olivia Scar and I'm Cameron Boyson and we're the Chairs for Relay for Life. We're both juniors at the high school and something special about Relay is that it's all student run and so we have us planning it and a committee of all high school students but we're really trying to get everyone from the community in the middle school, adults, everyone, because everyone's affected by cancer in some way. And we'd like anyone to join if they can. Um, it's a 12-hour event full of like activities and 
um, themed laps and all these different fun stuff that really just brings the community together to support cancer research and fighting for a cure. Yes. So you can visit our website which is www.realliferlife.org slash HoppingtonMA and you can sign up on a team or as an individual or even as a survivor. And we really encourage everyone to raise $100 or more because the money is so powerful to people who need it. Coming up next on HCAM News, we have more from the Wellness Fair, including some cool new equipment the Hopkinton Fire Department showed off. And we have some amazing Hiller basketball and hockey playoff highlights. A lot more ahead. Don't go anywhere. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Do you have what it takes? Will you make a difference? Always an adventure. Police and fire working together. Utilizing the latest technology. Do you have what it takes? Welcome back to HCAM News. The Hopkinton Fire Department was in attendance at the Wellness Fair. Tim Healy of the Fire Department was kind enough to show us some of the newer equipment the department has been using. All right, hi, my name is uh, Tim Healy. I'm with the Hopkinton Fire Department. Uh, we're here at the Health Fair today displaying some of the stuff that we do uh, in the ambulance uh, to help people when they're sick or injured. Here's uh, one of the devices that we use right here. This is the uh, uh, Lund University Cardiac Arrest System, and this helps us do CPR in the ambulance or when we're taking somebody out of the house. It does uh, compressions for us at the right depth and the right rate. It's continuous and uh, provides safety for us and uh, great results for the patient. Here's our Life uh, Pack 1515 uh, monitor, and uh, it has a lot of uh, things uh, as far as uh, defibrillation, uh, knowing if someone is having a uh, heart attack, uh, we're able to transmit to the hospital the EKG so the doctors can look at it and be ready uh, when we show up to the hospital uh, when someone's having a heart attack. A few other things we have here is um, sometimes when uh, people are sick, we need to give them uh, medication and a lot of times we'll poke them with a needle in the arm and give them the medication that way. Um, if that's unable to happen, then we can use this uh, device to uh, drill the uh, needle right into the bone and we can deliver medication that way. It's for someone who's really sick, but it's a very uh, successful method of uh, helping them. Uh, and lastly, um, sometimes we have to put um, this breathing tube uh, in there so uh, we can breathe for them. And uh, this is a camera that allows us to see into their uh, mouth so we can put the, uh, the tube right in place. Um, and that's some of the things that we have here at the Hawking uh, Fire Department uh, ambulance. Hi, I'm Jack Cody, and today I'm working with Fuel Up to Play 60. And the whole mantra and motto of Fuel Up to Play 60 is eating healthy, that's the fuel up part, eating vegetables and dairy, and playing 60 minutes every single day. So in this digital age where everybody's playing Call of Duty and looking at their phones, it's very important to stay true to the outdoor roots, get outside, and really remain very outdoorsy and exercise every single day for at least 60 minutes. So thank you very much. Yeah, you're right. Good guess. You can pick a prize. How old is he? He'll be 10 months Give next week. Give it a spin. All right, so this is kind of a trick question. How many spots are exactly the same on a cow? 
How many snowflakes are exactly the same? Yeah, same with spots on a cow. They're not exactly the same. Pick a prize. I'm Denise Hildreth and I'm the director of Youth and Family Services for the town of Hopkinton and today we are just coming to let people know about all of the services that are available in town for youth and families. Everything from individual, uh, group and family counseling, parent consultation, access to substance abuse services and support, um, and pretty much anything that families need. This is where you come. Hi, I'm Vera from Hopkinton Drug Pharmacy. We're just here at the Wellness Fair sharing some of the things that we offer down at Hopkinton Drug. We want to help people in the community know um, the services available to them. We've got some kids activities, some free samples, and I'm um, telling people about the nutritional counseling that I offer. So we hope that it's going to be a really good turnout and everybody enjoys themselves. Hi, I'm Terry from Boar's Head. And these, these are some of our products. We have a buffalo chicken, a deluxe ham, oven gold turkey, and our deli mustard. Our deli mustard has no calories and no fat. All of our products are gluten-free. We have uh, no fillers, no additives, no preservatives, no artificial flavors or colors. And it tastes great. Some pretty great tools the Hopkinton Fire Department is using. For more from the Wellness Fair, head over to our website, hcam.tv. The high school hockey and basketball playoffs are in full swing. The Hillers are represented well as the boys hockey team made the postseason as well as the Hillers girls and boys basketball teams. Here is how things have gone so far. On Thursday, March 3rd, the third seeded 17 and three Hopkinton Hillers took on 14th seeded 11 and 8 and 2 Bourne in the first round of the playoffs at the Gallo Arena in Bourne and one Hiller hit a landmark during the Hillers offensive fireworks. Volke, Volke throws it, there's a shot and a goal! I think that was number 100 and that is 100 as Finlayson gets it and he gives the Hillers a 1-0 lead. A really nice feed from Voki. And Finlayson put it between the pads of the goaltender, Lacasse. And Cam Finlayson, the senior, gets his 100th and 100th point of his high school career. Lindquist. One of the worst passes a player can receive is behind you and under your feet. You're going to get smoked there. Finlayson, I mean, uh, Link was going to check. There's a shot and a goal. And the Hillers take a 2 nothing lead as Jack Sloan buries it. What an incredible play. Owen Delaney held on to the puck a little long. Didn't panic. Let the defenseman pass by and fed Sloan for a tap in goal. Face off controlled by the Hillers. Here's Abbott. Takes a shot. And it's, a, it's a goal. It went through the leg of LaCasse. And the Hillers now lead 3 nothing. Starting to shoot free throws a little bit better, and then they went on a four for 16 run. There's a shot and a goal. It went off the goaltender, Lacoste, and I think Abbott got it from the bottom of the circle. Yeah, I think that'll be an unassisted goal. The Hillers got the four to nothing shutout over Bourne. Will Abbott had a pair of goals, and Cam Finlayson had a goal and two assists and the senior also scored his 100th career point in the victory. In the second round, the quarterfinals round, more action at the Cape, this time against 12-8-1, 11th seeded Cohasset. Junior Michael Cohen strikes first for Cohasset with 10.40 left in the first. About a minute later, Cam Finlayson comes down, pass across ice to Simos, the freshman into the attacking zone. Shoots, and he scores! The game is tied at one. Steven Simos finds the net with assists from Spencer Coveney and Cam Van Laysen. And then later, Karpensky out in front, the backhander, and it's in! 2-1 Hillers! Will Karpensky with a beauty! Hillers fresh off of killing a Cohasset power play. J.H. Vokey feeds Will Karpensky, and Karpensky feeds the net to make it 2-1 Hillers. Second period, Finlayson down the sideboard, pass to Owen Delaney, and scores! 3-1 Hillers! 
What a pass by Van Laysen and a break down the ice by Delaney. And then later, Jack Sloan tops it off with assists from Dan Delaney and Matt Lindquist. The Hillers skated away with the 4-1 victory as four different players score goals for the Hillers. Hopkinton advances to the semifinals to take on second-seeded 19-3 Norwell. Fourth-seeded 14-6 Hillers girls basketball battled fellow TVL rival fifth-seeded 13-7 Ashland in the quarterfinals of the Central Division II playoff bracket. There were some PA issues, but the crowd and the teams picked up the slack. Things did not start off well for the Hillers as three different clockers connected for a pair of field goals to help out score Hopkinton 16-9 in the first. Second quarter, Julia Canistrari heated up and hit for three field goals, including two three buckets to help the Hillers outscore Ashland 11-9. Ashland leading 25-20, coming out of the half, but the Hillers get the 13-10 edge in the third quarter to cut the lead down to two, heading into the final eight minutes. In the fourth quarter, Ashland senior Sam Leone joined the 1,000 point club with this three bucket. Quite a huge accomplishment to score 1,000 points in your high school career. She was congratulated by fellow teammates as well as the Hillers for the tremendous accomplishment. Fourth quarter, Hillers freshman Lily Morningstar was a star. She hit for eight points in the quarter to help the Hillers outscore Ashland 21-12 and take the game 54-47. Morningstar finished with 10, while Julia Canistrari had a team-leading 17 points and Michaela Pucci struck for 13. The Hillers advanced to the semifinals, where they will meet up with undefeated 20-0 Notre Dame Academy at Clark University. The 10-10 seventh-seeded Hillers boys battled second-seeded 17-3 Medfield in the quarterfinals. Medfield ended the magical season for the young Hillers, taking them down 74-49. Medfield would lose to Marlboro in the semifinals round in a thriller 59-58. Congratulations to Medfield and congratulations to Coach Keene and the Hillers boys on a great turnaround season. For everything Hillers sports, be sure to check out our website, hcam.tv. A few other huge Hillers accomplishments occurred. Congratulations to the 2016 Hopkinton Hillers cheerleaders. They took home a state championship last week. And also congratulations to Hopkinton wrestler Josh Sokol. He took second place in the state and the 285 pound weight class. You can see many Hillers playoff sports games coming up on the HCAM channels. To tell you all about it, here's Courtney with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Friday, March 11th at 8 p.m., Darlene, Connie, and Patricia celebrate the second anniversary of Hopkinton Coffee Break and discuss current events. This time last year, we were talking about, you know, we, we have to help get a vote for the library, we have to get this passed, right. and, so, and now we're past that, and today, not only is she retiring, ground. we're breaking ground, ground and, you know, in two it. years, we're moving in. On Saturday, March 12th, at 1.30 p.m., it's ice hockey versus Bourne in the first round of the playoffs. At 3.30 p.m., it's the quarterfinal girls basketball match versus Ashland. And at 5.30 p.m., the boys' basketball team takes on Medfield in their quarterfinal match. On Monday, March 14th at 7 p.m., Michael Anderson shares stories about the power of myth and celebration on a new Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. And as his legs start to climb Jacob's ladder into the air, I'm thinking, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You only hear about this in legend. 
On Tuesday, March 15th at 6.45 p.m., the Board of Selectmen meeting will air live on HCAM TV. On Sunday, March 20th at 10 a.m., the planning board meeting from March 14th will air. And on HCAM Ed, high school students get together and perform in the Be Free Coffee House. Check hcam.tv slash ed for program dates and times. Of course, HCAM has so many more programs to offer, and you can find out all about them by heading to hcam.tv slash connect and subscribing to our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or if you want to keep up with current events, check out our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. If there is a photo, video, or story idea you would like to share with us, feel free to email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care and thank you for watching. Yeah.